Hi besties, welcome back to another episode, another week, another episode with one of the scientists working on a HIV pediatric cure, that is a HIV cure for babies, but in the African region. She is working in South Africa, she is one of my very favorite besties i met her at uh, the hiv cure academy in uh, both in durban the one the first one that i did and also in zambia the second one that i did we actually did a video in zambia and yeah it is still in my gallery i promise you dr gabriella i will upload it one day i will upload it so anyway uh we met again at croy 2025 and we were talking about what is happening in the hiv cure research for babies in the african perspective and she gave me a glimpse of what she does uh the research that they have and uh what they're currently doing in uh, South Africa and the successes so far, and also giving us hope of what is to come in terms of HIV cure for pediatrics. So please tune in, uh, give us a few minutes of your time. Do not forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. My name is Gabriella Cromery. Mm -hmm. I am a medical doctor from mm -hmm. South Africa yeah. and I am the clinical coordinator and research clinician on what's called the Baby Cure Study mm -hmm. and that is also um, known by the name Utwaningo Luarantwana mm -hmm. which means learning from children. Mm -hmm. The idea of this actually came about initially with the case of the Mississippi baby, mm -hmm. which uh, Prof. Debbie Passord will tell you a lot about, I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, but basically, this child was found to be able to control the virus mm -hmm. after having started ART really early. Yeah. And so this made us think, all right, so if this child can do it, mm -hmm. can other children do it? Yeah. And therefore, there were a lot of these cohorts that were started where mm -hmm there's very early treatment mm -hmm. so ART is started very early in mm -hmm. our study particularly mm -hmm. children are started on ART within 21 days of life mm -hmm. and the idea of this mm -hmm. is that first of all you, you get the treatment very early mm -hmm. right which mm -hmm. means that your viral reservoir is much smaller mm -hmm. and it's less diverse mm -hmm. and the idea of that is that in future then when when cure and interventions become readily available mm -hmm. there will be less of a reservoir that yeah. will have to be dealt with mm -hmm. to try and elicit a cure a reservoir is the thing that makes hiv itself mm -hmm. such a complicated virus to handle mm -hmm. and to try and cure yeah. so the reservoir as soon as you acquire hiv mm -hmm. it starts to lay down kind of what i think of as seeds mm -hmm. and it plants them all over the body mm -hmm. and when you're on art these seeds are dormant yeah. so they're not doing anything they're not producing more virus mm -hmm. but as soon as the um there is no ART in your system for mm -hmm. most people. Yeah. These seeds start to start to sprout yeah. and they start producing more and more virus, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And so the idea is that you want to start treatment early, yeah. okay? Mm -hmm. So that this reservoir mm -hmm. can be small. So think about it, you want it as the size of a pot plant mm -hmm. rather than the size of a rugby or a football field, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So that's the whole idea behind it. Okay. That's, that's the hope, mm -hmm. or at least that's something that, that we're looking at in our particular study. Mm -hmm. And we actually found five boys in KwaZulu-Natal mm -hmm. who were able to control HIV. So their reservoirs were really small yeah. and because they started treatment really early. Mm -hmm. But they were able, with their immune systems, they were able to control the virus mm -hmm. without any ART. Yeah. And so they were able to have what we call ART-free remission. Yeah. And so that doesn't necessarily mean that, that the viral reservoir is gone, mm -hmm. but it's controlled. Mm -hmm. And so that's really, really exciting and provides a lot of hope for the future of the HIV cure field. And
they are all girls in the cohort. In mm -hmm. fact, we have twice as many girls as we have boys, mm -hmm. um, which is really interesting. Yeah. But it's also about the kinds of viruses that these children acquire. And mm -hmm. we've actually seen some sex differences in the types of viruses mm -hmm. acquired by girls versus boys. It's mm -hmm. still HIV, yeah. but they they funny little areas that are different mm -hmm. in terms of interferon sensitivity mm. and how fast and how fit these viruses are. Okay. I mean, I think, I think the big thing here mm -hmm. is that, you know, a lot of governments can't afford to do that. Yeah. Yes, it would be fantastic if we could do it. Mm -hmm. But in a lot of countries, this is just not possible, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And so what's going to be really interesting, there's actually going to be a poster here at Croy mm -hmm. that talks about children who actually start an ART slightly later mm -hmm. than very early, yeah. right? What's mm -hmm. considered very early. Yeah. And they are actually able to have a DNA load of zero, which we use as a marker of the reservoir, which means the reservoir is really very small. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't mean that if you weren't started on ART immediately mm -hmm. after birth, yeah. that you can't you can't have a very small virus. It's mm -hmm. still possible. It's also the the reservoir decays over time, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. But the ideal thing would be to have every child started on ART immediately and that would help not only the children in terms of comorbidities mm -hmm. and just living a better quality life in theory mm -hmm. but also in terms of future cure trials as well. So in an ideal world, mm -hmm. in, in my head, mm -hmm. it would either be a, a once-off pill or a once-off shot mm -hmm. and I think that would be really amazing because that allows people to access it mm -hmm. and not have to worry about it in future. Yeah. What it looks like in practice is probably going to be very different mm -hmm. but I think there's some really exciting things and particularly at this conference yes. that we can that we can look forward to. So yeah I mean we're all hoping <laughs> for the, the one shot or yes. the one pill mm -hmm. and we can keep working towards that. Do not forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I am looking forward to your questions, your comments, your concerns in the comment section. But also, don't forget to follow me on my different social media platforms. See you next week with another episode of HIV Cure for Babies. Yes. Now, this one, the, the, the next episode is going to be from a lab-based perspective, from a laboratory-based and not really like a clinical trial-based. So I hope you enjoyed Dr. Gabriela's uh, interview. And uh, I look forward to connecting to you again. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.